Ladles and gentlesomes, today we bounce our head off the top of our base. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to our Pugnacious series. Today, we're taking on the boss arena. Some of the strongest creatures, strongest bosses, strongest things known to Ark kind and hopefully come out alive. I failed at this. I've succeeded at this. We've done everything at this in the past i don't know how today's gonna go but there's only one way to find out that's by throwing ourselves at this this gauntlet of bosses to see who is the ultimate the ultimate yeah that's the, yeah that's it yeah we're gonna find out who the ultimate boss slayer is or boss slayed by bosses is doesn't matter guys before we go any further if you do enjoy the video please go ahead push that thumbs up we're gonna rain those thumbs ups and might i just say before we do i am looking mighty fine today in this full set of tech Vulcan gear. We got this yesterday, finally completed it with the boots and the chest piece. Wasn't even part of the plan. We just did it and I feel good. Now, who is coming with us to this fight is the big question here. Well, of course, this guy here right in front of us, Spinebreaker, the end of all hope, the gargantuan supersized version of him. He gonna be leading the charge today and on my shoulder, yeah, another Spinebreaker, a little smaller version. It's actually kind of realistic because he is indeed a smaller version. When you put them side by side, you, you really see the size difference between the two of them. Uh, there is a big old stark difference between the two. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not this small, though. Yeah, anyways, he's going to sit at our shoulder and assist us in this journey today. Um, and this guy is hopefully just going to trample everything in his wake. Now, we do need a few things before we... Oh, my goodness. I f oh, my goodness. I forgot to clear out this inventory last episode. Okay. Uh, look, it's a bit of a, it's a bit of a mess, but I don't need any of it. So I'm literally going to just put that in there and that in there. And the rest of this can all go. I don't need these heads. We already got heads mounted in our base. I'm already flexing the fact I've destroyed all these guys many times in the past. Um, a lot of this is junk and will be treated like junk as a result. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get rid of all of it. There we go. Cool. But this is what we need. We need our uh, elements. We need 1,500 elements to kick this battle off. Um, and like I said, we've got these heads already in our base. I don't need no more heads mounted in this place. Too many heads as it is already. Mate, are you ready? Are you ready? Are we going to go do this thing right this second? You bet we are. We've got 100 health potions and a whole chunk of torpor potions. I think we're going to need both and probably going to use both. Um... I honestly, I don't even know. I, don't even, I can't remember how this whole thing goes. So there is a bit of a mystery for me personally. It's been a few years since I've attempted this thing, which is, you know, you're going to leave a little bit of wiggle room just in case things go horribly wrong. Especially when your memory just ain't functioning correctly. You just, you don't know what you're about to run into. But from memory, these are some pretty powerful dudes. So I do and did want to make sure we were prepared. And thankfully, we spent, uh, we spent quite a bit of time preparing for this one here anyways now that we're through the trees there is the arena aha beautiful there it is at last we've got a few guys that are just chilling in the arena these guys are not going to survive very long uh i don't know if i should put them out of their misery now or we just summon in stage one of this boss fight and you know see if they can survive it maybe they want to survive we'll see how it goes i'm gonna let them go though we're gonna dump this in there we're going to commence the fight, which puts up the big old wall. And then I think I got to double tap this. And that is going to summon in the Ascendant Broodmother. Oh, snap. Okay. Oh, wow, wow. That was quick. That was quick. That was quick. Hey, buddy. 140. He's such a low level. 147 million? That's... I'm going to whoop this thing. Hold on a second. What? I'm going to annihilate this guy. There's nothing he can do about it. Is he even going to... Oh, oh, Torpor. Oh, nah, man. This guy's... He can, he's not going to stand a chance. Not going to stand a chance. Wow, okay. This is actually going a lot better than I expected. Holy moly. Um, we've already got him down a third. He is whooping on that Torpor, though. I tell you what. But not enough to stop me. Not enough to do anything about it. I think he's actually stuck on the little thing there. You need a bit of a hand. I kind of want to give him a bit of a fighting chance. Maybe he's just really slow compared to some of the things we've been fighting recently. <laughs> but the Ascendant Broodmother, man. Like, get wrecked. Get absolutely wrecked, mate. I don't even have to do anything. I'm just going to sit here and just chill. I'm not even firing. 
My little guy from my shoulders taking care of business for me. <laughs> 36 million remaining. Let's get this over and done with. Oh my goodness. And here I was like trying to make sure I'm bringing in 100 health potions into this thing. But in reality, didn't need a single one of them. Wow. That was a dominant performance to the point I'm actually shocked. Because our settings are very similar to what we've used in previous seasons. We also got the... Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. We got... Wait. Did it drop a spine break his sacrifice? I, I, I didn't have... I, I didn't have this in my inventory. I think we got a free spine break his sacrifice for our troubles. That's crazy. Uh, we also got a max experience potion. And we got the Ascension Broodmother um, Fang. Which basically lets us fight the next tier. Um, dude, these little spiders. Guys... Where are you? I can't even see you down there. Anyways, are we about to fight another level 20? <laughs> Is the Broodmother going to be exactly the same thing? Because that's crazy if so. Um, let the fight commence. I ain't wasted no time. Let's go. I'm not afraid of this. If that's anything like the 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 Broodmother... Dude, it's, it's a level 20 again. It's like an absolute truck. Have plenty of Panacea Tonics with you. Well, I, I do... How much of a truck do you hit like? Like a really big truck or just a little minute truck? Oh yeah, he hits kind of hard. But not enough to stop me, I don't think. Oh, no, no. He's wearing me down. Yeah, I got plenty of potions though, so we're fine. Yeah, this is... uh, I guess... Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Too easy. Good right, Megapithecus. Oh, we are going to cakewalk this thing so hard. I guess that's uh, the price you pay for being overpowered. I'm actually going to use a health potion there because he did get me down to half health. But it doesn't seem like he's got any crazy powerful... Dude, my guy on my shoulder is just dropping these red... These blue balls like they're like nothing else. Okay, this guy's a lot faster than the Broodmother, by the way. This guy's just relentless. Right, I'm just going to go blue, blue ball to death. Spam. Just like my guy on my shoulder is. I actually... So... I'm going to discuss something once we're done with this fight. Because there's something I've been meaning to talk about and I keep forgetting. But I think it's it's worthwhile discussing. Hold on a second. All right, let's get rid of him. See you later, mate. Take it easy. And yeah, look at this. We got another sacrifice. This time it's Mothra. So we get a free Mothra out of it. That's awesome. Got a bunch of saddles too. None of them are really going to be helpful at this point. Um, but something I have noticed. And I noticed this last season too. We, we, we did go over it quite a bit. Because it affected a lot of things. Um, it, I don't know if it was affected by a bug. Or something else. Maybe maybe since ASA came out. And ASC just hasn't been updated or something. I don't know. But you can just spam attacks. You can attack spam. And you see it. Because I'm pretty sure in the past. My memory could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure in the past. You couldn't do this. You couldn't just constantly spam an attack. Like these here, have a, they're meant to have a cooldown. And we noticed this with our Primal Fear series too, where no dinosaurs had a cooldown. And bosses would just... I mean, we remember the lag spikes we were going through, if you guys were there for it. It was chaotic. It was crazy. It was, it was mad. And it was game-breaking. And it seems as though that's kind of happening and affecting this mod too because i'm pretty sure not only for that i don't think we're meant to be able to spam this one here either like because from memory i'm pretty sure i used to like i don't know i could be wrong my memory could be fading but i'm pretty sure i used to go yeah right click and then like left click left click left click and then right click and like i'd kind of like alternate attacks in between cooldowns but now we can just drop our most devastating attacks i don't know i don't know if it's a clash with one of my other mods or what but yeah just an interesting just an interesting thought. Anyways, <laughs> let's keep this thing going. Because I can't imagine this next one being any more difficult than the last two. What is it? Oh, it's the dragon. It's the dragon. This one might be if his fire breath hits hard enough. Let's have a look, shall we? Yes, she what he's capable of. I don't know if I expect it to be too difficult. Also, this is one creature that in the past I think has been quite janky and broken. And it seems that he's actually working correctly. So good for him. For everything that's broken. At least that's fixed. <laughs> good for you, dragon. I think he used to like glitch about and move about and kind of like stagger around and also... Oh yeah, like this. this. We've kind of got him all jibbling and stuff. Yeah, there he goes again. It's not a bug. I think it's just... I'm sitting right underneath him and he's trying to look at me. So it's like left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Because he can't look straight. 
Anyways, it doesn't matter because the Ascension Dragon is about to die. And uh, we are one step closer to the ultimate Ascension Hippo. Yeah, get wrecked. Also, oh, I completely forgot about this. Oh, have a look at this. We just got a bunch of tools. I forgot this. I forgot about this. Um, I don't have a guide on me though, do I? Where did my guide go? Hold on. Um, I got to find a tree. Let me find a tree real quick. I got to punch a tree. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going back to day one Minecraft. Bam, punch a tree. Um, let me get a little guide crafted up. I don't think I've got one. All right. So have a look at this. I forgot with every tier of the Ascension bosses we kill, we actually unlock some special abilities. Um, I can't remember where we find out about this though. Ascension buffs. Okay, so the Ramshackle, which is number one, is what we got for killing the Broodmother. This will provide you with a permanent buff that increases the experience that your dinos receive when they are ridden or in range of you. So basically, extra experience. So that's pretty cool. Um, next up, though, is the Apprentice. This will provide you with a permanent buff that increases all of your stats by 20%. If you are not using a Pugnacia player pawn, you will get a craftable item that gives you a temporary buff. Yeah, okay, so we're buffed because of that. Journeyman is what we just got for killing the dragon. This will provide you with a permanent buff that gives you a large amount of soulbound weapons. That's what brought it to my attention right now. I completely forgot about this. And tools that you that do not weigh anything and cannot break. Uh, you will not lose them upon dying, and most will have an area of effect damage if you are not using a Pugnacia, yada, yada, yada. We've still got the two others to reach that we haven't done just yet, so I want to keep that a bit of a surprise because I can't remember what they are. But these tools here are things like this. We got a big old hammer, which from memory deals like really good melee damage. In fact, it might even tell us. Um, great power. Oh, and it makes dinosaurs dizzy, so I assume Torpor. We've got the hatchet, which is this guy right here. Looks pretty sweet too. What does the hatchet do? Uh, multiple targets. So I guess it's like area of effect. Uh, we've got the pickaxe. Should we just replace our current pickaxe with this? Um, it's, it's fashioned from a dragon talon. Uh, we've got a pike. We've got a sickle. Pretty much got the full tool set. A sword, able to kill um, large foes without fear. And then this one here, the whip. The whip's pretty cool. It's like a ball and chain. Obviously, it looks like a whip. Hey, we can collect berries. I needed those yesterday, not today as much. <laughs> Anyways. Now that we've gotten past all of that, which I completely forgot was even a thing. What have I just done? I've activated the arena. Oh, we've got a Mr. Fist to sacrifice for that one there. Okay, cool. Um, This. Aha, there we go. Okay. Time for the manticore now. There he is. What are you doing up there, champ? Ooh. I just read his little message. Okay, this guy deals torpor. So I'm glad I just read his little message there. Oh, he summons in death worms? Wait, what? I don't know if I remember that or not. Um, okay, cool, cool, cool. Good for you. All right, I gotta keep an eye on my torpor here, because if anything's gonna hurt us, it's probably gonna be that. Death worms, though. How you doing? Man, this guy actually deals quite a bit of damage. Never mind the torpor. I think my torpor is piling up, but it's not enough. <laughs> it's barely, it's barely doing anything. Let's go. Let's go. I am tranquilized and I have 170 seconds of tranquilized still. But um, yeah, great. Fantastic. Health potions going in though. The second one of the entire arena. And we are melting this guy. Absolutely melting him. Yeah, I'm just going to blue ball the death this guy. Let's go. Drop a few bombs on him. 30 million health remains. And an absolute cakewalk at that. Which means once this guy falls, there ain't much left between us and what's coming next. Um, what did we get for that one there? Oh, we got a Skana. Let's go. So we can actually summon in all the bosses that we don't have yet. So that's pretty sweet. Nice. Some black pearls. That would have been handy a little while ago, but that's fine. And then I guess uh, last but not least, the hippo. Where's the little quill thing? All right, let's drop that in there really quickly. I want to check the guide. What was the ascension item for this one? This is your is the fourth boss and it's very difficult. Please take great care. Well, 
I'm a little bit overpowered for that one then. Hold on a second. Hold on. Ascension buffs. Uh, individual mastercraft. This will provide you with a permanent buff that will give you a shield upon taking damage for 10 seconds. So basically, if I take damage, we got a 10 second shield that makes us invulnerable and it has a two minute cooldown. That's cool. That's cool. But already I'm pretty powerful and pretty hard to take down. So let the fight commence. Let's summon in the final of the boss gauntlets, which is, of course, the giant hippopotamus. 268 million health, double anything else that we have fought. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Now, how far, how strong are you, mate? Oh, I forgot he summons in other bosses. Okay, I should have read that. Okay, okay, okay. My health is, I'm, I'm dying. I gotta get out of here. Holy, mo oh, wow, 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 wow. Oh, no, 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 this bad. This is really bad. Oh, I don't even know what's happening. Hold on a second. Okay, health potions going in. Wow. Dude, dude, Mothra, what in the world? <laughs> Where did Mothra get so strong? Oh, wow, 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 wow. Okay, okay, that, we need, we nearly just, okay, I drop, okay, oh, wow, okay, I, even, I can't even see what's happening. I think I'm just gonna blue ball of death, the ever living daylights out of this. Hold on, are there any bosses around? Because I don't even think it's the hippo that's affecting us the most. I think it's the bosses he, he summons in to fight us. Because those world bosses are powerful. Um, please don't do another Mothra because that was really terrifying and I could only just heal up in time. I just can't move. <laughs> He's just sitting on me. <laughs> He's got me trapped here. All right, all right, all right, all right. We've got, a, we've got a little window. We can move around for a second. I kind of just want to run away with him from him because I don't feel safe with him sitting on top of me with this big old butt. But I don't have a choice. I don't have a choice. All right, all right, fine. Let's do it like this then. And... I ask of you not to summon in any bosses to fight me. In particular, Mothra, any spine breakers who drop their big black balls of death on me. Just, just let me finish you off. We've got 40 million health remaining. I was a little bit worried at the start there, but I'm feeling pretty confident now that we've got this in the bag. You can't even see him, he's that big. 20 million remaining. I think we've got this one sorted. This one is covered. This one is done there it is and there's no one else to worry about let's go and just to be sure let's have a look in here nothing left to fight can i pick up i can pick up the arena i didn't think i'd be able to do that our job is done here our job is done now what did we get for that we got um oh third track dude we can literally summon in all the bosses now that's great and nope where is it i just want to check the last of the ascension buffs i think it's something to do with a double jump or something this will provide you with a permanent buff that reduces all of your items weight by 80 percent gives you a jump buff that is high enough to jump over dino gateways this can be disabled by pressing left control uh pressing grave or tilled will shoot a projectile okay so we can let's have a look at this all right i'm pretty sure yeah we got to yeah we can shoot projectiles like spine breaker projectiles by the way which is pretty cool we can then i don't know how the jump boost works though uh how do you toggle it again i mean i don't need a jump boost because i've got the jet pack so it kind of gives me a boost as it is but is it that one or was that just my jetpack doing that boost? I don't know. Anyways, uh, most importantly, the whole reason we did all of that was this right here. The chipped hippo tooth, which allows us to, uh, well, let's go back to base and I can show you. So, over here in our little ascension portal, goes the chipped tooth and that is one of the final items we need to craft up the pugnacia mummy mega mech um transformer combiner evolver i don't know what it's actually called but yeah that's awesome um which means all we got to do now is get kill another tempest and we are <laughs> we're able to craft that thing which is which is crazy however we do have these as well so it looks like we got a pretty good spread in the end. 
Uh, we ended up with a free Spinebreaker, a Mr. Fisto. We've got both of those already. We got a Skarna, which is pretty a lot of fun to play with. We got a third track, which uh, we haven't had yet. And I think we got a Mothra. But I don't see it in my inventory here. I don't know where it went. We definitely... Oh, we got... There it is. Okay, I forgot. We already had one in here, so we've actually got two now. So that's really cool. Um, so yeah, if we want, we can go ahead. No, I wasn't meant to break that. Um, I'm going to bust up all these saddles and loot drops and stuff that we got there. There's probably no point me doing these. Can these break? I was going to say, these are meant to be indestructible. So it would make sense that they cannot be broken. For some reason, I thought kibble can be for some reason. I, I put kibble in here in the past and it's, it's broken it and it's made like no sense. Oh, these, these do break. All right. If I die, I'll get them back. I'm pretty sure. So we can always do that if we, if we please. Uh, I'm putting way too much in here and everything's getting busted to bits, but I don't need any of it. So, oh, well, I suppose. Oh, well, everything except for the hammer. That's what was confusing. The hammer didn't get broken. Fair enough. So, dude, amazing. Amazing effort old spine breaker. But now I'm kind of tempted to, to I, I want to, do we get these other sacrifices? I'm going to have to clone some prime evils to get them. Mothra is just a cool one. I like Mothra. I'm going to get Mothra. I want to do Mothra. Um, and it doesn't even matter how strong it is. So I'm just going to clone our Phoenix since he's like right here and able. I think we've got the shards in here. We got the shards in here. Nice and cheap. Um, clone as well, which is nice and special. This is good, man. This is good. This is it. Wow. Can't believe we've come this far. So close. So darn close. And while this clone is going underway, I guess the big, next big question is what happens after Pugnacia? Are we going to go back to ASA or are we going to stick with ASC? I do have something pretty cool planned that I'm excited to get to, but... We'll have to see about that. We'll have to see. I don't want to give away anything, but stay tuned. Because I think what comes next after this series is going to be a lot of fun. Anyways. <laughs> My guy's ready. So let's go ahead and chuck that in there. And turn this giant primeval phoenix into an even bigger Mothra. Holy moly. What size is this? It's only a 1.2x, but my goodness, it's huge. Um, I don't even know where to park you, my guy. Can I just park you at the top of our wall over here? <laughs> Mothra is legitimately massive. Um, and I thought he had some skins that you could craft to like change his appearance. I don't know where to find them. But you can like put different wings on it if you want. You can put like really big ones or smaller ones. But either ways, spawn of Mothra. There he is. Here we go again. Get our hands on... Oh, I've run out of shards. All right, we have to go craft some more shards then. That's fine. It'd be cool to get our hands on all of the boss. Oh, hello, shards. I guess I don't need more shards. Um, Let's... Can I go this way? Oh, yeah, we can carry like a ton of weight now, can't we? I forgot one of the uh, one of the buffs that we just got from completing the arena was we get our hands on... Uh, or we can, we can carry a lot of weight around. Everything is a lot lighter. So let's get the shards in there. And we will once again clone a phoenix. And I'd like double clone. I can only do one at a time, unfortunately. And then, I mean, we kind of need to uh, go and kill another Tempest. I don't know where the nearest one is. Or an easy one to kill is. But that's that's next. And I think we've got to do that with our dragon, as a matter of fact. Because... Last time we fought Tempest with a ground dinosaur, we got annihilated. <laughs> it didn't work out very well. Not that we got annihilated. He just made it impossible to kill him. And it ended up a little bit... It didn't go according to plan. That, 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 that's all. Anyways. This next Phoenix. What's it going to become? Let's get a Skana. The purveyor of night. Oh my goodness, that is a big Phoenix. <laughs> How big is this Phoenix? Ooh. What is the Capel's doing here? Somebody poops silica pills? This is a 1.9x. So pretty much maximum size. Wow. Look at the size difference between the two. I love it. And... 
Oh. Scott, where are you, buddy? What are you doing down there? Um, I was like, where is it? Uh, just a loud type. Minion? He ain't look like no minion. What are you even talking about? Uh, he's stuck underground. I don't know how to get him out of there. What are you doing, mate? Might be able to teleport him. Hold on. All right. Can I teleport you out? Yeah, there we go. There he is. <laughs> oh, that's so creepy. Jade Scorpion. And this guy's special ability. Dude, that is so creepy. This guy's special ability is burning on top of my lampposts, apparently. No, I'm pretty sure what he can do is grapple dinosaurs. Like anything. Oh, and he's got Torpor, of course, too. Um... How's the grapple attack work though? See? No. I'm trying to super jump. Whoa! Wait, super jump works with dinosaurs? I don't even know what I'm doing. Um. Oh, there we go. Hey! <laughs> we can just pick things up. That's so good. Um. Hold on. Is there like a remote grapple or is it only from a distance? C is doing something. I don't know what it's doing though. This guy wants some. Yep, get wrecked. We do a crazy amount of door board too. That's pretty cool. And then right click. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at this. We picked up a little parasaur. Pick you up too? There we go. Right click is to like pick him up with that little pincer. Oh, I forgot. We've got spine breaker on our shoulder. That's who's killing everything. That makes a lot of sense. All right, well, let's get this guy back up to base. There we go. All right. Well, he's stuck once again because he just likes to get stuck on everything. So that's the super jump. I activated it now. So, uh, uh, no, no, is it turned on? Now it's turned on. I actually don't know what the super jump is. Guys, we're going to end this one here, though. Thank you so much for watching. I think tomorrow might be the day we get our Mega Mech. I'm not too sure. I'm not too certain. We'll have to see how things go. But guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one soon. Until then, keep smiling. Have a fantastic day. Bye for now.